Hey, so I've been asked about a specific use case for the mod envelope or the filter envelope. And let me show you that real quick. So let's assume you have your filter cutoff at uh, this position, uh, 1500, and you want to use this envelope, envelope two. So we have the attack set to two seconds. We have our decay at one second, our sustain is at 0.5 and the release is about one second, right? So let me explain what we are trying to achieve here. So with these settings, I'm expecting the, uh, the, the envelope to, to do this. I'm expecting the cutoff to reach its maximum value from that point to that point, from, from the, uh, the point that I said, whatever it is, to its maximum value after two seconds. Then I'm expecting that after one second, we'll reach a sustained level of a cutoff, which will be somewhere in the middle between the, the position that we have now and the maximum value. So it will be somewhere uh, here, so somewhere here. And so let's go back to, to original position. And yeah, I can't get it, you know, uh, accurate. And then when I release my finger, then it will take one second to go back to its original position here. One very important point that I have to make right now is that you have to match the release time between your mod envelope or your filter envelope and your amp envelope or your VCA in this case. Why? Because what will happen is, and I'll show you that, is that the sound will cut off even before the filter is finished with its business. So let's see that in action and then we'll correct it with the correct release time of the amp. So I'm playing a note. Have a quick look here at the analyzer. Now it is hard to see what exactly is happening here um, in, in the sustain area. Let's take that example to somewhere else. Let, let's, do, let, let's do this at the 200 Hertz or something like that. So what I'm expecting is to have two seconds that will take this cutoff uh, from, from that position to its maximum value after one second it will drop midway somewhere here. And then when I release my finger, you will see that it's going back to the original 200 Hertz. And remember that we have to match the release, but I'll show you that in a second. Oh, you see that drop here? That's the sustain. We don't have to use the sustain, right? It's just, uh, I mean, it's just uh, something that uh, we can use. I don't have to use it. But we see that the release doesn't have any effect and that's because we, we don't have a matching um, times here. So let's do this. Let's have uh, the same amount of time. That's one second, so I'll, I'll do that. I don't know, a little bit more than one second. So after I'm releasing my finger, the, the sound still remains for another second. And you see that the, the cutoff is going back to its original position. And if we, if we take two seconds here and we'll, we'll match that here, Two seconds, just a little bit less. Releasing. That's it. So that's that's the use case. That's the idea. So I uh, hope that was clear. Thank you. Bye-bye.